Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Kelvin here. Apparently, Binance was banned in Malaysia, eh? So it became Bonance. Never mind, just ignore that. Instead, you can use Luno to buy your favorite cryptos, and that's what I'm going to do today. In this video, I'll show you a step by step guide on how to use Luno. I'll tell you how to sign up, find your account, buy cryptos, and if you have paper hands, I'll also tell you how to sell your cryptos and withdraw the money back up. Finally, I'll also share some tips and tricks on using Luno. Sounds good? Let's not waste any time and let's start right now. Signing up to Luno is super easy, barely an inconvenience. If you need a referral link, you can scroll down to the description, then click on the Luno link to sign up. You'll get $5 worth of Bitcoin if you deposit $100 and buy Bitcoin with it. Yes, I know $5 ain't much, but $5 can already buy one chai fan with fish already. Just go through the whole sign up process. They will need you to submit a document and take a selfie to verify your ID. So just do that. It will take around one to do business days for your account to be verified. So let's fast forward by one day. The next day. All right, your account is finally approved. Now, who wants to be a millionaire? You. Great. Now, you just need to YOLO all your life savings into Luno and buy as many Bitcoin as possible. Just a joke, yeah? Please don't do that. Only invest what you can afford to lose, yeah? Anyway, let's fund our account with some money. First up, if you are from Malaysia, there are two ways to fund your account. Wire instance transfer with FPX and bank transfer. Luno has a great tutorial which shows you how to do that, which I will link down below in the description. But if you are from Singapore, welcome to Singapore. I will show you how to find your account using Espers. Head over to the Luno website, click Wallets, click SGD Wallet, then click the Deposit button above. Then it will tell you to link your Espers. So just click Link Espers, then Confirm. Enter the code which was sent to your phone. As for amount, let's start with a small amount of $1 million. Just kidding, the maximum deposit is just $5,000. So let's start with $100 instead. Then click next, confirm. Oi, it's complaining that you don't have enough money in Espers. You will need to go deposit some money into Espers first. Okay, now I'm in my Espers account. On the right, under Digital Goods Wallet, click Deposit, then click Select Wallet, Digital Goods Wallet. Select your bank, click Add Bank Account. I'm using DBS, so I'll choose DBS, but you can choose any that you want. Enter your account number, then click next, then close. Now, select your bank account which you have just entered. As for amount, I will start with $100 first, then click next, click proceed, then OK. Alright, now you will need to head over to your bank account to transfer the money over. If you are using DBS, mouse over transfer, click to other bank account, fast. For recipient's name, go to S first, copy the recipient's name, head back, paste it in. For recipient's bank, go to S first, it shows CIMB. Head back, choose CIMB. For recipient's bank account, go to S first, copy the bank account number, head back, Paste it in. Next, choose your account as for the transfer amount. Just now, we have entered $100. For purpose of transfer, it doesn't matter. You can just choose anything you want. For comments, it also doesn't matter. Just type anything you want. Maybe type what big big. Okay, click next. Make sure everything is alright, then click submit. Once you are done, go back to S first. Tell them that you have transferred the money. The money will take about 5 to 6 minutes to arrive. Pro tip, you don't have to keep refreshing your S first. Because once the money has arrived, Espers will send you an email that looks something like this. Next, in Luno, click Wallets, click SGD Wallet, then click the Deposit button above. Type in $100, then click Next, then Confirm. You should receive your money almost instantly. There are a few cryptos which you can buy with Luno. You can see BTC here. Or if you want to buy another kind of crypto, you can click Add a new wallet. As you can see, there's 5 more other cryptos here. Sadly, there's no doggy coin, but that's alright because today I want to buy BTC. So I'll click Wallets at the top, click BTC Wallet, then click Buy. You'll be able to choose whether it's a one-off purchase or a repeat buy. I'll choose one-off. As for amount, let's YOLO all that $100 into BTC, then click Next. Take note that for every buy and sell, Luno will be charging 1% yeah? Click Confirm. Congrats, you have just become a proud holder of Bitcoin. Here, Luno mentions that you can put your Bitcoin in a savings wallet to earn 4%. But my advice is to do that because you can easily earn 7% in other places. I'll show you how later. Alright, so that was how to buy Bitcoin using Luno. But now, let's imagine your Bitcoin has went to the moon and now you want to pay per hands and sell it. Let me show you how. In Luno, click Wallets, click Sell. Choose your crypto, choose the currency wallet, then enter in how much you want to sell. I want to sell everything, so I'll click Max, then click Next. Again, you'll be charged 1%. Looks like Luno is getting rich off me, yeah? My $100 just now has already become $95. So, moral of the story is, you won't lose money if you don't sell. Anyway, 
click confirm to sell. Okay, now that you have sold your Bitcoin, I'll quickly show you how to withdraw the money back into your account. Go to your SGD wallet, click withdraw. For Singapore, you will be withdraw to S first, but for Malaysia, you will be withdraw to your bank account. Yeah, choose the amount that you want to withdraw, then confirm. A. If you are transferring an amount with cents like sixty eight cents, Luno will complain. So head back and remove the fractional amount. Change it to ninety five dollars instead. Click next, then click confirm. The withdrawal time is different depending on where you are from. If you are withdrawing Malaysia ringgit, the withdrawal will only be processed at ten a.m. 12 noon and 3.45 p.m. Yeah? Don't ask me why. It's like that law. If you are withdrawing SGD, it will be within a few minutes. So just wait for a while. Once your money has arrived, Espers will send you an email that looks something like this. And if you head over to Espers, you will see that your money has arrived. Under Digital Goods Wallet, click Withdraw, select Wallet, Digital Goods Wallet. Choose your bank account, then enter the amount which you want to withdraw, then click Next. Check everything is alright, then click Proceed. The withdrawal will take one day to arrive. Alright, so that was a quick tutorial on how to use Luno. Now, I will share some tips and tricks on using Espers and Luno. If you are using Espers, it's super important to enable 2FA on Espers. Otherwise, the hackers can just come and steal your money. To do that, in Espers at the top right side, click on your account, click Security Settings, then click Change Settings. Then, you will need to use the Google Authenticator app to set up your 2FA. Third, if you are using Espers, there's a 30k annual limit on your Espers. That means you can only buy 30k worth of cryptos every year, which shouldn't be a big problem unless of course you are some rich Saudi prince. Alright, those were some tips and tricks on using Luno and Espers. Hopefully, you find this video useful. And that's all for today. Like, share, and subscribe. I'll be posting new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.